guys what's going on Aaron back today and I wanted to make a little video just to uh, kind of go over the the things that I needed for my inspection um no it wasn't too much I did get a couple things fixed that I wanted to get fixed so uh, let's go over those now first off let me start by saying I did get pretty lucky um, I spent like less than 200 bucks to uh, fix it but I didn't want to save for a little while that's why I wasn't buying much um, but I did order my touchscreen face, and that should be in soon, so you guys will get a video on that. And then I'll order a couple other things here soon, coming up too. So, uh, those videos will be out soon. And, uh, yeah, so let's jump into, uh, to what I needed. So, like I said, there's only a couple of things. Um, now, he did say something about my shifter. So, I had to get that fixed. Um, I actually had to go to the the Acura dealer, Jones Acura over in Lancaster, I had about a 30 minute drive or so, but uh, it's, it was this little shifter grommet, I thought it was a pin, but it actually, um, it goes over the uh, the shifter, The it's not even on the linkage, it's like behind it, and it sits in there, and then it connects to these two pins that go up, my other one like melted, and it was like melted to the bracket, so, um, that stainless gets really hot and I don't know why it melted it but it was just toast so I don't know if I should I should probably get like a little heat shield there um, but we'll see if it melts again then uh, then I learned my lesson but it was like a $13 piece so that wasn't too bad plus my shifters not lifting up anymore so that's a plus now I also had to get a training mount now I had already talked in videos about how um, at an idle my uh, my car my shifter would shake a lot of that was because of um, the transmission mount. The whole car would kind of shake. I'd um, I'd kind of hold the RPMs at about a uh, thousand, and it'd be fine. But if it drops like 800 or below, then the car just shakes. Um, so we got the transmission mount, but I ordered the wrong one from Amazon. So we ordered a new one, and uh, we'll have that put in like next week. Uh, my inspection is going to be out in uh, two days, so we really have to get on top of getting that training mount in. But we also had to do my uh, my exhaust. I had a little bit of an exhaust leak right before the cat, um, or it meets up with the headers, uh, and I knew that. But we had to buy a donut, and that was like a ten dollar piece or something like that. So it wasn't too bad. It was a it was a bitch getting it off, and uh, we had to put new bolts in there because they broke. But ended up being fine. Uh, it's fixed now. But when we did do that, the uh, I, I didn't realize the O2 sensor was holding it up and uh, I kind of pulled on it to the side to try and get it out of the way and I pulled the, the prongs out of the out of the sensor itself so we put them back in and right now it's throwing a coat so um, we're gonna have to uh, figure that out if it doesn't go away soon then we'll have to uh, put the prongs back in a different way and try it that way but uh, like I said my inspections up in two days so uh, that's gonna be a little bit rough now the last thing I needed for my inspection was a new tire, uh, which really surprised me. I did not know I need, needed an alignment like I did, but um, I'll throw in clips. My tire was so bad, uh, about a, a quarter inch to an inch of my tire was just gone. It was showing cord. Uh, it was really bad, so I really need to get an alignment as well. But uh, I did pick up a new tire from uh, the tire place in Dallas Town. Uh, they didn't have any used ones. That is where I got it last time when I had that flat um, for thirty-five dollars. But I spent about seventy to get a new one. Now I didn't really want to do that because I plan on getting a. Uh, tires with a lot more sidewall and um, once I, I get everything done to the car uh, just so I have better traction but um, it is what it is uh, new wheels I'll have to get new tires anyways so we'll see uh, what goes on but we'll tackle that when we get to that so anyways guys thank you for watching the video I uh, know it was a little talking video again but I just kinda wanted to go over what what the uh, GSR needed for inspection anything was like really wrong with it um so now you guys know thank you for watching the video and uh stay tuned for more